Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create your own custom brushes for GIMP. So let's go ahead and open up GIMP. And by the way your splash screen may look a little different. Uh, I've installed uh, GIMP Paint Studio for GIMP. Uh, this is GIMP uh, version 2.86 uh, GIMP Paint Studios just uh, some extra brushes and presets. Uh, they're really, really nice uh, uh, add-on for GIMP, and also have uh, the Chaos and Evolution brush pack installed. Uh, if somebody would like to uh, know how to install that, just leave a comment. Uh, under the video and uh, if I get at least five people wanting to know how to install that I'll I'll do a tutorial on that but anyway let's go ahead and start uh, creating a custom brush for GIMP and I th what I thought we would do is create uh, sort of a smoke brush uh, so let's uh, open a new file and let's make it uh, let's say 800 by 800 and uh, the default uh, background color is okay now this uh, canvas size is a little bit big for our brush but that's okay because uh, we will uh, make it a little bit smaller uh, as we go so anyway I've got uh, my brush tool selected here and I'm going to make sure I have a, a black color for my paint. And I'm just going to draw a couple of squiggly lines here. Oh, before we do that, let's create a new layer first. And uh, let's make sure it's a layer fill type is set to white. Okay, now let's go ahead and uh, draw our little s couple of squiggly lines here. They don't have to uh, match each other. Just and then let's re uh, change our color to maybe a, a a really light gray color, and then kind of mix that in. And then let's grab our uh, smudge brush. We need to increase our brush size a bit. And just go ahead and uh, kind of smudge those colors together. Okay. And now let's go over to uh, filters and distorts and then choose the eye warp filter. Now, eye warp is a really handy tool. Uh, you have uh, your deform modes here. You have move, grow, swirl, uh, counterclockwise, remove, shrink, and uh, swirl clockwise. And then you have your radius of your deform and your deform amount. And uh, that's all we'll be using. Um, it's not really a tutorial about that, but okay let's go ahead and use move and let's kinda start uh, shaping our smoke out a little bit to make it look a little bit more like smoke uh, this is not gonna be uh, perfect you can use your own uh, judgment your preference just tweak your smoke uh, however you want to. This is not necessarily about creating smoke. This is um, more about creating a custom brush. And then let's kind of give a little bit of swirl. Oop, there we go. Uh, swirling around there. Maybe shrink this area down some. I think that's probably going to be good enough. Um, see, kind of have a 
not exactly we could spend a, a bit more time on it and make it look more like smoke uh, but that's not what this tutorial is about so anyway now let's go into colors and adjust our levels a little bit maybe give it a little bit more of a smoke look there that's kind of a little uh, whiff of smoke okay and let's go ahead and grab our rectangle select tool and grab a little wisp of smoke there and then let's go to image and crop image to selection and we'll need to merge these layers down merge visible layers and let's make sure you just deselect it and then we need to go to image and mode and let's change that to grayscale and then we'll go over to file export and you'll need to navigate to your GIMP folder which is generally if you're on Windows uh, I'm using Windows 8 uh, so username and then GIMP 2.8 and then brushes and let's name this brush we'll just call it uh, smoke test and then we'll need to change our extension type to a GIMP brush okay we've got a couple of GIMP brushes here uh, I'm going to use the GIMP brush animated which is the GIH instead of the GBR and uh, the reason I'm going to choose the GIH is because um, if I want to change the color of uh, the smoke brush I can uh, I've seen people do it with the GBR but for some reason I couldn't get it to work but it does work for me with the uh, GIH extension so let's go ahead and click on export and you've got uh, another pop-up window here and I'm just gonna go ahead and leave everything the same there if you wanna mess around with that uh, you can so let's just go ahead and hit export and then let's uh, open a new file just make that any size you want with a white background and then I tell you what I'm gonna go ahead and grab my brushes here and I'm just gonna drag that profile off oh. and uh, down here at the bottom right corner you will need to hit refresh brushes and let's do a preview size uh, extra large so we can easily find our brush I've got a couple uh, which one is the one I just made I don't remember I believe it's this one I have three of them there and I just forgot to uh, delete them okay let's go ahead and move this back over here well oh god for some reason it's not letting me dock it back over there so let's close it up for now back to our brush tool Increase the size. Oh, let's increase the size a little bit more. You can't hardly see that at all, can you? So, zoom in a bit here so you can see it. So, that's our brush. Click on it a few times so you can see a little bit better. 
Uh, you can change it to a light gray. There's some a decent looking wisp of smoke. So and that is about it for creating your own custom brushes. Of course, you can go in there and create. If you follow this, the technique I just showed you, just uh, create whatever you want to. It doesn't have to be a smoke brush. It can be any shape or uh, draw out a smiley face or or whatever. So anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, short little uh, video tutorial for GIMP. And I remember if somebody's interested in learning how to install GIMP Paint Studio, uh, let me know. Matter of fact, uh, while I'm recording, I'll just go ahead and show you uh, just a little bit about it. So I've got my uh, paint tool selected here. And let's go ahead and change our brush back to uh, one of the default basic ones. Uh, let's change our size down. And I'm just going to paint a little bit there. Okay. Um, on the bottom of your uh, paintbrush, your tool options, uh, you have four icons across the bottom there. And the second one is uh, the Restore Presets. Um, so you can just click that and bring up some of your presets that comes installed with GIMP but you'll notice that uh, I have quite a few more here um, in, installed that comes with GIMP Paint Studio uh, for instance Rocket Fire here which is which is really cool Um, also, you can use it with the airbrush. Um, I have some presets for airbrush. Uh, you have some presets for your eraser tool. Uh, also, your smudge tool. Some nice presets there. Uh, I could show you also, let's open up. Uh, Dockable dialogues here and choose brush presets. I'll just open this on up. And we'll switch to uh, GPS eraser presets. And then backspace. So, anyway, uh, you have a lot of really nice uh, presets with GIMP Paint Studio. So, leave a comment if we get five people uh, requesting uh, how to install GIMP Paint Studio. Uh, just let me know. Hope you enjoy uh, enjoyed this video, and I hope you uh, enjoy uh, creating your own brushes in GIMP. So, that's about it. Be sure to subscribe and like this video. Have a great day.